welcome guys today we are going to see one wonderful topic in mechanical engineering that is velocity diagram from kinematics of machinery subject you may have a question what is mean by velocity diagram let us discuss those things it is one type of kinematic study it means that here we are not going to consider the mass and force of the system here we are going to consider the relative movement between the links that is we are only going to consider the geometries that is velocity diagram is a collection of vectors where the length of each vector represents the magnitude of linear velocity at the same time the direction of the vector represents the direction of velocity of the particular link at a instant time let's see the uses of velocity diagram to identify the link velocity in a particular mechanism also to know the actual mechanical advantage and resisting torque to determine the cutting tool velocity ramp velocity with respect to the crank rpm from this analysis we can able to know the acceleration of the particular links even we can able to do the analysis for a particular point to predict the velocity and the acceleration in the mechanism let's see our slider crank mechanism it is a four bar chain that exhibits both linear and rotational movement simultaneously it contains a crank connecting rod a piston and some guide ways this slider crank mechanism is used in our engines let's see one animation i have taken this animation from skyling tutorials where you can find a lot of animations it is a crank and it's a connecting rod and it's a piston and it is a cylinder the reciprocating stoke of the piston which is produced from burning of fuels that thrust force will slide the piston the connecting rod will transmit the force from the piston to the crank and the crank and the crank will rotate the crank shaft from the crank shaft we are going to utilize those power to our wheel in dynamic study we will analyze how to balance the system with respect to the force in kinematics we are only going to analyze the velocity acceleration with respect to the geometry of the system let's see one example problem the problem statement is the crank of a slider crank mechanism rotates clockwise at a constant speed of 300 rpm the crank is 150 mm and the connecting rod is 600 mm long determine linear velocity of the piston crank end point crank end point velocity velocity in midpoint of the connecting rod at a crank angle of 45 degree from inner dead center and angular velocity of the crank for better understanding i am giving some namings crank that is o b 150 mm connecting rod as b a 600 mm midpoint of the connecting rod as d that is 300 mm from point b let us write the given data the crank at a speed of 300 rpm that is rpm of bo equal to 300 ob equal to 150 mm we need to write those things in meter that is 0.15 meter the connecting rod length that is ba that is equal to 600 mm in meter 0.6 we need to find velocity of piston va velocity of the crank vb velocity of the midpoint 
വി ഡി ആൻഡ് ആംഗുലർ വെലോസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ ക്രാങ്ക് ഗൈസ് ലെറ്റ്സ് ഡ്രോ ദ സ്പേസ് ഡയഗ്രാം ഫസ്റ്റ് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു ലേൺ ഇട്ട് ദ ടാംസ് ഇൻ ദ സ്ലൈറ്റർ ക്രാങ്ക് മെക്കാനിസം by drawing the space diagram only we can able to identify the velocity directions and acceleration directions kindly take a sheet of paper scale compass pencil protector i am going to start with my crank pin that is my point o the crank length ob is 150 mm see it's a very big value we can't able to draw those things in our paper so i am going to do some reduction scale that is i am assuming it as 150 mm is nothing but 1.5 cm that is that is 100 mm equal to 1 cm therefore our 150 mm equal to 1.5 cm and our connecting rod 600 mm equal to 6 cm the crank is having an angle of 45 degree with respect to the dead center line if we need to draw the crank at angle of 45 degree either at this orientation or that type of orientation i am going to choose the left side orientation now mark the point b just extend the dead center line so that we can able to find the piston in the correct place take 6 cm in compass from b make a arc at the dead center line that intersection point will be our point a now draw a piston like symbol at point a also the guide ways now mark the point d that is nothing but 300 mm from point b this is the space diagram for the given input now we are going to find the angular velocity of the crank that is omega of bo the formula is 2 pi n divided by 60 here the given rpm is 300 by substituting those things the angular velocity will became 31.42 radian by second after that we have to find the linear velocity of the crank the linear from the angular velocity we can able to find the linear velocity the formula is original link length into angular velocity that is omega of bo into ob we need to substitute the ob length in meters by substituting the values we will get the linear velocity of 4.713 meter per second we got the magnitude of the crank we need to find the velocity directions guys i am going to show some videos to you so that the velocity directions will be in your mind it is a hammer throw and our thor what is the relationship the linear velocity of the hammer is always perpendicular to the rotational angle of the rope similarly the linear velocity of the crank ob is always perpendicular to the link ob here the crank here the crank is rotating in clockwise direction so the vector direction will be in the clockwise similarly velocity direction of the link ab is perpendicular to the link either it may be upwards or downwards from the end of the velocity diagram we can able to predict it the piston velocity direction is in horizontal either it may be moves leftwards or rightwards because because it is arrested in other directions let's start drawing the velocity diagram with the help of known direction and magnitude of the crank 
the crank velocity is 4.713 meter per second we need to do some scale 1 meter equal to 1 centimeter therefore 4.713 meter equal to 4.713 centimeter the first step in velocity diagram is we need to identify the non-moving points from the space diagram we can able to find it here the crank pin O is a zero velocity point kindly mark the point O in the velocity diagram as a small letter after marking the point O now draw the crank linear velocity line that is small letter O B as we discussed earlier the linear velocity of the crank is perpendicular to the link OB now place your scale at the link OB in a perpendicular manner by using mini drafter we can able to do it in a accurate manner after that slide your scale and move to the point O from point O draw a line with with a length of 4.713 cm the end point is our point B denote it as small letter guys see the velocity diagram up to now we only know the point O and B for the other links we only know the directions we don't know the exact magnitude by using the directions of the other links we can able to find the magnitude from the velocity diagram let's proceed it once again take the scale and align it at a perpendicular to the link AB now slide the scale up to the point B because in link AB A is having a contact with B so in velocity diagram the line must touch the point small letter B but we don't know the directions so extend, extend the line in both the directions guys once again refer the space diagram the point A velocity direction is in horizontal only take that horizontal direction from the space diagram and draw it in velocity diagram at point O extend the line in both left side and right side While now here is the unwanted extension line mark the velocity of A in OA vector line similarly mark the velocity of AB at BA vector line the direction of the vector can be easily identified with the help of the remaining extension line direction to identify the velocity of point D in our velocity diagram at vector line BA mark the point D at the middle and connect the point D to O that particular length is known as velocity of point D with respect to the fixed point O if suppose the point D is somewhere in the connect connecting rod means we need to use this following equation so that we can able to find the perfect place in the velocity diagram the equation is small letter BD divided by capital letter BA equal to capital letter BD divided by capital letter BA by substituting the known values we can able to find the unknown value to measure and mark all the velocity values 
here I am using a scale as 1 meter equal to 1 centimeter therefore velocity of the piston VA is equal to 4 centimeter that is nothing but 4 meter by second velocity of the crank VB equal to 4.713 centimeter that is nothing but 4.713 meter per second and my velocity of point D VD equal to 4.1 centimeter that is 4.1 meter per second and angular velocity of the crank is 31.42 radian per second in the next video we will learn the acceleration diagram thank you thanks for watching stay connected you can